Ahoy, young lad and young lass. Ahoy, me hearties. Sink me, but I believe I made it in time. Arr. Is that you, Peter the pilot? Eh, it be me, but today I come as Peter the pirate. Well, Hello and welcome to our recorder lesson, Peter the Pirate. Have you by any chance been watching the old movie of Felix the Cat and the Goose that Laid the Golden Egg? Arr, indeed, that I have. Ah, that explains it. Welcome to our recorder lesson, Peter the Pirate and all our students out there. I like your outfit, Peter. Why, thank you, thank you. After watching Felix the cat and the goose that laid the golden egg, I felt like watching more pirate movies. Arr. So I watched all the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. That is, after I had finished practicing on my recorder. All those movies inspired me to come as Peter the Pirate today. I think this is the perfect opportunity to introduce you to a new breathing exercise to use before you play the recorder. Peter, tell me, what does the lookout up in the crow's nest of the ship, call out when he sees land. Arr, that be land ahoy. Yes. And because our pirate theme started last week already, I have brought another one of my very special books. It is the best ever book of pirates. And in here, there's a picture of one of the pirates climbing up to the crow's nest. Do you see him climbing up over here? And here we have him calling out, Land Ahoy! But when we use the word Ahoy for our breathing exercise, the hoy has to be more breathy, like this. Ahoy! Can you do that? I'm going to call out land and you say ahoy. Let's try it. Land ahoy. Pirates ahoy. Sharks ahoy. Can you feel where the pressure is in your body when you say the hoi of the ahoy. It is in the stomach again, just as with the hoo hoo hoo. Yes, Miss Piggy, that is where the pressure should always be coming from. You are breathing correctly. And Miss Piggy, seeing you next to Peter the pirate over there, makes me think of a book that I saw on the internet recently and which I would love to read. It is called The Pirate Pig and is written by Cornelia Funke. It is about a pig called Julie who washes up onto the beach in a barrel right in front of Stout Sam and his deckhand Pip. They keep her and soon find out that she can sniff out treasure. But that is all I can tell you because I still need to read the rest of the story. Oh, that sounds so exciting. I would love to find out more about her. Maybe I can also become a pirate pig and join Peter the Pirate here. Please don't leave me behind. Can I join you as your deck hand? Well, if you three are going to be sailing the seas, then I need to teach you a sea shanty. 
and I know a simple sea shanty that you should be able to play on the recorder. But in order to play this song, you need to know the note D. Not the high D, but the low D. That should not be difficult because you already know the low E. Remember the emu egg? Oh yes, the emu egg is on the bottom line of Queen Georgine's kingdom of five lines. Yes, Miss Piggy, you are correct once again. And since Casper here is our expert at saying the alphabet backwards, Casper, what note or which letter comes just below the E? If we say the music alphabet backwards, that would be from the last letter G, then before that comes F, then E, then D. D is below the E for emu egg. Ha! Huh. That would be the space under the five lines. Yes, Casper. I remember that you were the one who noticed that there was a space above the five lines and a space below the five lines and not only the four spaces between the five lines. And the low D is indeed in the space underneath the five lines. If we have a look at the picture of Albertina the albatross, where does that put the low note D? Why, that would be under the waves in the sea. <laughs> yes, indeed, under the waves in the sea. Meet Dominic the dolphin. He is playful and energetic like most dolphins. He loves jumping over things or out of the water or swimming fast through hula hoops. Now what you cannot see under the water is the border gate between Queen Georgine's kingdom and King Frederick's kingdom. The border gate which gets its name from their son, Prince Christian. Well, Dominic the dolphin is Prince Christian's special friend. The dolphin lets him ride on his back when he is checking if all is well and harmonious along the border between his parents' two kingdoms, and if all his subjects along the border are happy. Prince Christian knows that Dominic the dolphin enjoys swimming or jumping through hula hoops. So he tied one hula hoop to the top of the border gate for Dominic to swim through. So instead of passing through the gate, Dominic the dolphin now always passes through his hula hoop. Can you guess what everyone now calls this hula hoop? What? They call it Dominic's door. Hmm. Interesting. The top D is for DD, the double door dove, and the low D is for Dominic's door, which also has two Ds in it. If you have a look at where the hula hoop is, then you will see that it is in the space below the E line and above Prince Christian's C line. Now my next question for my clever students is, how do you play the low D on the recorder? Well, for E in the egg song, we have to close all three top holes with the left hand and another two holes with the right hand. So if D is one below E, then I guess we just have to use another finger to close another hole. Hmm. That would make it three holes closed at the top and with the left hand and three holes closed at the bottom with the right hand. Yes, you are absolutely right, Peter. Three fingers at the top and three fingers 
at the bottom and the thumb at the back. Oh, that only leaves one hole open. <coughs> yes, that is a new note for another lesson. Now that you know how to play the low E and the low D, we can sing and play the song about the sailor. You may have heard it before. This is how it goes. A sailor went to sea, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. But all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, sea, sea. Can you see where the new note, the low D, is? Yes, I can see it. It isn't quite at the bottom of the deep blue sea yet. It is in the third row. And that brings us to the end of another recorder lesson. I have included the song in a link below this video. Go and print it and see if you can manage to close all six holes in the front of the recorder and then at the back of the recorder there's still the thumb that makes it seven holes all together. I suggest that you blow very gently when you play the low D so that your recorder doesn't squeak. I have also included a link to a video clip by Orlan Charles again. This time he is playing the theme for the movies of the Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm sure you will enjoy that, Peter. And if you are fans of the movies of the Pirates of the Caribbean, go and have a look at that video clip. It's really cool. Ah, here comes my ship to pick us up for an adventure on high sea. Whoop. 